And we were playing a team. It was in North Carolina. It was like a local little tournament. And it was actually my own son was at first base and they hit back to back balls into the outfield. And what does every single kid do at eight years old? If you're the first baseman and the ball gets hit, what do you do? You run and you stand on first base. We don't, they didn't know yet about if there's no infield play, you got to get, you know, back, you know, trail behind the runner and get out of the base path in case the kid wants to go to second. Okay. So my kid goes and he plants his feet on second base, the ball's in right field and their runner had a, understandably so like avoid him at first base and he got thrown out at second and fairly he did get interfered by my kid at first base so the umpires come out we talk about it I saw it happen and I was like I'll correct it so I said hey Tate it just happened to be my kid I was like hey Tate you can't be on first base now when the ball there's no play okay so literally the next batter the kid hits it again into the outfield and my kid does the exact same thing Mind you, he's seven, eight years old. Their kid runs, avoids. So the same thing happened, but there's no play. Their coach is now standing on, uh, I can picture it, on first base dugout along the, 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 the dugout. He walks like towards the base path and he yells to his kid now who got a double. He's on second base. Hey, Johnny, next time he's there, just run him over. So I called time. Oh I boy! Time, oh no! And I walked out into the middle of the dugout, uh-huh. and I just said, "Hey, listen, you can coach your kid. I'm out here coaching all of our kids. He's seven. He's eight years old. Yes, he should not be standing in the base path. But you're barking up the wrong tree here, pal. Oh like, boy! We, we're not doing that. We're not going to embarrass and yell out that you're going to telling your kid to run my kid over. And I said, you picked the wrong kid, especially because that's my kid. <laughs> and if you, you know what I mean? Like, and if your kid ran him over, no problem. He's in the way. But you're not going to scream it across the dugout and make a scene by telling your kid who's now on second to run the first baseman over because he's seven and he doesn't understand that he can't stand on first base on an extra base hit. So that, that was probably my – I got – I'm not going to lie. I was pissed. And um, we handled it after the game. He came up. We had a nice conversation. No harm, no foul. What is handling it though? What is, what is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a good, it was a good conversation. The second, if anything happens between me and another coach or even me and a parent, right? I'm a big believer when it's over, it's over. I'm not going to drag it on and we're not going to take it after the game. So after the game, we shake hands on, you know, we line up on the lines. This was before COVID when you're actually allowed to high five and shake hands. And um, he comes up. He's like, you know, coach, I'm sorry. I said, listen, no need. We're good. I probably would have done the similar thing that you did. I probably just wouldn't have yelled it. I probably would have just said it to my kid in the dugout. <laughs> but no harm, no foul, man. You were competing hard coaching your kids. I'm going to coach my kids. I'm sure we'll play each other again. No worries. And we go about our day. Right. 